You want to sit on that side? Where do you want to sit, babe? <laughs> where would you like him? Because I know he's intimidating. Where? We can put him on the other where side. Do you, where do you want? Where do you want to be at? <laughs> um, I don't care. This is about you. It's not about me. It's your Thank show. You. We're just here. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going off the books today. All my notes that I worked on all week. I'm I don't know if that's gonna, a good idea. I'm not even checking them out. I don't need them. Who needs it when you got this trio out here? Cody, I think it would be nice to have you on that side. <laughs> Cody is back. We have him on. We had him on ice for a bit, but he is back. You and on ice. I'm surprised you never. Are you ever gonna put me on ice? I'm sure. Yeah, you already have been. <laughs> have I? Well, you just probably. I probably didn't make a big deal about it. Oh, so you're just out here talking shit on some big shit like no, tennis on ice right now? I didn't talk shit. Is your mic on or you just Hello. You forget how to podcast? Oh, no, She's, thank you. You're actually so sweet. I completely forgot. You forgot how? Yeah. <laughs> we got to talk into Fucking the mics bitch. here. <laughs> Sorry, Fucking. I don't mean to start off sassy. It's just, you know. No, no, please give me attitude. I've had the longest fucking day. I'll snap on your ass. <laughs> We've never had a fight yet, right? Oh, my God. No, but I have one. I'm we're ready. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have a fight. You want to get right into it? I don't. I don't really want to fight. Actually, I'm not in the mood. I'm. I'm just very tired, very drained, long day. But I sent you my podcast notes for the last podcast. Oh, that's what you want to fight about? Podcast notes. And that's here's not the thing. my department. Oh, just just pawning it right off to the not my jurisdiction. Voice. Yeah, that is Oscar. You have Oscar's number. But you I, can text him notes if you want things cut out. Or how about this? Just don't say them. <laughs> That's my problem. Like, when I had my own podcast, I would cut out half of ever. Like, I just say fucked up shit. I'm not even thinking. There's a fucking pee up here. There's a walnut rattling around. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. And then I, you know, I want to cut some of it. And I texted Jeff a nice, lengthy nov novel series of what I wanted to cut out of the last podcast. And you just said, nah. Don't, don't even worry about Suck it. Suck my look. dick. This is Jeff FM. No, Tana, look, all the comments say you are the funniest person in the room. Every time we record, no matter what. You're gaslighting. I could have Apologize. Dave Chappelle sitting right there, and they'll say, that girl right there, she's the funniest in the room. Every single time, no matter what I do. It's kind of discouraging. He's gaslighting me. But also, since we're a team, <laughs> it, 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 since we're a team, it makes me happy. I don't care, because you're on my team. You're on our team. Well, you'd think that someone who was on someone's team wouldn't want to put them in a compromising position. I understand that. God, and I'm good. You are good. But <laughs> again, I'm going to roll with that's not my jurisdiction. If you want something cut from the podcast, tell the editors. You know what, fine. I just thought I could count on you. I thought you were going to be mad about me not participating in one of your Halloween costumes. Oh my that God, I, I'm mad as shit about I had that. agreed uh, to do. Now look. You send me this whole heartfelt text. I promise I'll do your other Halloween costumes. And I know it makes you happy. I just want to see you happy. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'll wait. I wanted to do that shit on Friday. But no, you had to go to Jake Paul's fight. Everything on hold for which, Jake Paul. Which, which I will get into in a sec. Oh, thank okay, God. You, you are on one today. <laughs> uh, okay, look. I'm going to get into the, the weekend with Jake Paul, your ex, and my boys, the Impulsive Squad. <laughs> I gotta love them. I had a good time out there, but the mm. reason I didn't do the Halloween costume, first I was I was exhausted from the trip. I was traveling around, coming back to do another Halloween costume at my old, old age yeah. of 32, my it's brittle true. bones to put Maybe on another costume. Maybe I am costume. just expecting a lot from an elderly man. I did two costumes with you, maybe even three. I don't know, was it two and a half, maybe? Consider, if you count the Logan Paul impulsive one that I did, that's that's kind of for you, too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I did the mask one. That was a lot of effort I put in with the that's JFK mask like. when you did Marilyn Monroe. Mm. And then we did Wolf of Wall Street. I'll give you credit for Wolf of Wall Street. So by the time I get back here, now, you wanted to do Pam and Tommy as the grand finale. Now, every single post on Instagram, I was scrolling down, it was Pam and Tommy. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was Jeffrey Dahmer and Pam and Tommy this year. And I'm so happy that I wasn't You're so happy. in that. You're so happy that you didn't do something with me that would have made me happy? <laughs> Shows a lot about your character. I'm yeah. happy that you let me out of that because look, when I was in Clap. relationships, when oh. I, I felt like Here I was, in, I felt like I was in a toxic relationship where you were forcing me to do a Halloween costume, and it's crazy that it's something so simple. I'm sure people at home are like, "What's the big deal? Just put on a costume." I don't know what it is for me. It's so just so somehow you were kind of relating like a business work endeavor that we had to like feeling like you were in a relationship. That sounds like you should work it out and. <laughs> I'm on cut oh, mode. I'm sorry. I, I'm yeah, you're, you're now you're gaslighting me. Oh my god, Cody, you're a, <laughs> you're a grown man. I get it. You got a you reputation know? to uphold on the streets. That shit's long gone. I what? got you saying slay. I know. I know. Photos. 
Now, what would people back in the neighborhood say if you were doing four or five costumes? They would be very upset about that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it takes away your manhood from the streets. Yeah, but what were what what some things that they would say like, to you? Like, look at this emotional guy dressing up with his girl. He's not built for this shit. Yeah. Yeah. We should go rob him. And it's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I'm a target. Yeah. Now I'm an easy target. Do you want to just go sell drugs? Fuck the podcast. Fuck everything. Let's go sell some fucking crack on Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard right now. You and me, Bonnie and Clyde, baby. Let's. We go. don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. We want to do that. But if you put me in fucking costumes every single day, you are. I'm not even gay. Taking my masculinity. Yeah, Jeff, it's I'm a, really it's sorry about that. Too. It's okay. I enjoyed one of them. <laughs> and I had fun with you last night at Josie's birthday. I had Look, a great time with you last night. You were really fun. I'm going out. You know, we're doing stuff. You had a I'm good in time, the scene. huh? Yeah. You hate to admit that, I feel like. That you, like, had a good time at, like, a little L.A. party. But yeah. I can tell you had fun. Well, I, you know, I feel like I'm over at certain times in my life, and then I get back into it. I got tested today. I thought I caught AIDS last night. Really? From yeah. what? Who'd Having you a fuck? conversation? <laughs> no, I just so many people in my face talking and spitting on me. I was like, oh, yeah, my God. AIDS is sexually transmitted, or blood, to blood to blood. You're not just going to get it from somebody talking with bad breath. <laughs> Whatever. Cody, since, <laughs> since you're here, I don't know what we were getting at. I just want to say to all the Jeff FM listeners, first of all, you guys are a wonderful, amazing audience. Um, I'm going to be so bad at podcasting today. I shot for 12 hours today for the new red Dizzy Wine commercial. And Whoa! Just, yeah, don't have a red box yet, but uh, red wine. Um, and we shot all day, and it was amazing. But just all the like Tana Slay, yeah, <laughs> gone, done. I need a fucking twelve hours. You're not saying Slay no more. I've just said it. Like I, I just was that person for twelve hours. I don't know her anymore. I'm a shell of a lifeless fucking human right now. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> you know. Well, damn, that's exciting stuff. You got a new colorway out of the. New Canned flavor. Wine, new new flavor. flavor. We have white Huge. wine before, a Pinot Grigio, and this is a Cabernet. All right. There we go. I'm happy you're promoting this and not the other stuff that gets us age restricted on our podcast and they not suitable for ads. <laughs> why, why, I didn't think you were saying AIDS, like AIDS or shit. You were circling AIDS it back restricted. to AIDS. You're right, though. I will, I'll promote my brand safe thing, which is uh, the Four loco of wine. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's for the streets. We used to drink wine out the box on crates. You know, we got Cody oh, sitting here, and Cody's Hi, been Cody. through a lot in life. He has a lot of life experience. That's the type of people mm -hmm. I can do podcasts with. Like, you have a lot of life experience. You have I, the life experience of, like, a 40-year-old woman. Yeah, in smoker's a, lungs and all. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I've yeah, never I'm seen surprised. anything like it. I knew a lot about Cody before I knew you close. Um, I remember when I first started hanging out with you, one of my really good friends was like, I fucked his friend Cody from jail. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I was like, slay Cody from jail. <laughs> Damn. Cody from jail, when you got out, you made a little run yeah, around town. Yeah. You know, you got that prison look, that smell and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Girls see it, they just want to fuck. And then I met you last night and you lived up to everything I thought you would be. I think we've met like a little over the phone. Nice. I'm so happy we know each other now. It's well, since, since you're yeah. here, Cody, and you've been through so much, why don't you just take a moment to give a little motivational speech or something? I need it. Just wing it. I know you didn't prepare anything, but you got tons of wisdom in there. I don't know. If there. you really want something in life, you really just cut out all the distractions and just focus on yourself and pick the right people that are going to benefit your life and uplift you and enlighten you and remove all the users. Yeah. That yeah, was beautiful. Be, that's good. That's that really good. good. So cut out all the bad people in your life yeah. and do yeah. whatever it takes to become successful, yeah. even if it's illegal. It's only illegal if you get caught. See, that's a little it's gem It's not I really wanted. a crime. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's just a political bear thing. bear shits in the woods yeah, yeah, and you yeah. can see if trees yeah. fall, you know? Yeah. It's like one state. Oh, you can carry a gun here, but you can't carry a gun there. Why? I didn't know the age of consent. Maybe this is too dark to talk about, but like I was watching the show the other day, and the age of consent in like a lot of states is sixteen. Yeah, Jersey, <laughs> yeah, like New no, Jersey, wait, New well, Jersey. Well, 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 what no, the but fuck? the fact that he knew that off tops is terrifying. He goes, New Jersey. New I was like Jersey. talking about New Jersey. But <laughs> you can't be a government official or like a teacher or a city worker. You got to be like a forty-year-old loser. That well, let me not. <laughs> let me not belittle anybody, but you got to be like a forty-year-old just. Guy no, working at McDonald's or something. That's fucking crazy. And you could have uh, sex crazy. with a 16 year old. Comple I, in New Jersey, you could have sex with a 16 year old. I'm not saying I would do that because the lowest I go is like 23 because I like low mileage on my shit. Okay, Andrew <laughs> Tate out of here. You know what this fucking guy did? He walked in here after I haven't seen him in maybe six months. He walks in, he's like, Yo, you heard about Top G? 
I'm like, you just heard about this guy? <laughs> yeah. He's he's already been just through it and done. Just dedicated his life to him. And banned. He turned the, the upstairs gym into a shrine for Andrew Tate. No, I did not. What are you talking about? Wasn't this, it a gym? Up no, here? that's the barbershop. But it was now. a gym. Yeah, I'm, I'm not losing my mind. Yo, no, no, but we turned into a barbershop. Do you know, like Do you like Andrew Tate? Mind. Love him. <laughs> just love him, <laughs> okay, man. Okay, okay. Live, breathe, and die. I shouldn't drive. I'm going this way with the chair. This is the first time it's been used this There's way. There's something about that that's girly. Doll. What? Like, I have a little bit of an ick right now. Just sitting you don't like this? Because ba- I'm just imagining your back arched. <laughs> your I get that. <laughs> so, fuck it, I gotta change it back now. Do you have any icks like that? Like, in girls? Like, where they do something and it's not necessarily... Like, like when I watch a man chase a ping pong ball after playing beer pong, like, immediate ick. Like, do you have anything that's like... Yeah, vaping, hair extensions, <laughs> <laughs> um, dirty shoes. I mean, like, a girl has dirty Air Force Ones or something, okay. you know? Dirt, really? You need if some vape like, juice? If they're, like, filthy, you know? I'm like... Ix about girls, yeah, vaping, hair extensions, shit like that. Cool. You know, <laughs> I'm just messing around. I'm fucking around. Yeah. No, he meant that. He, you went vaping with your whole chest. Because even when I first met you, and we weren't like this, and we were kind of like, I don't know. Like, I could tell that you hated that I vaped. What do you mean we were like, we weren't like this? I don't know, like making out in the middle of my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> One time we did it as like a joke, you know? <laughs> no, but um, I, I could just, I remember you making vaping comments. Did that make you uncomfortable? I feel like it made you. No, I, I, I just feel like we're like family now, you know? We we're are. business partners. Incest. And, Complete. And that was incest and we didn't know it yet. What did you think when you saw like this relationship start brewing? Do you think that the, it was sexual? Did it give incest? I know you so well, but obviously everybody initially thinks that when a guy and a girl together, they always think it's sexual, but that's like kind of small-minded people that always only think about sex, you know? Yeah. Wow, that so, was his speech, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. so Cody yeah. came in today and he's very observant. You know, he, he's looking at things. He's like, oh, you guys are like, you're doing this thing where you pretend to be a couple for a cloud and likes. I don't think likes. we pretend to be a couple. We don't, we don't, but people do. Oh, no, we kind of do. Let's not do mock our, our listeners here and say that they're dumb, because we do that like, to them. how? We call it paparazzi on ourselves. Le- <laughs> am, I allowed, am I allowed to, <laughs> to say that? To be fair, that? they were already there. They I was there. just like, hey, I, I'm going to wait, heads so I up, get it. Heads yeah. up, we're here. Yeah, for sure. And then we got out and we held hands for... We did not hold hands. We linked arms, which friends do all the time. That's true. I feel like I've clout farmed with people, like where it's like, oh my God, let's literally pretend like we're fucking gay and like in TikToks and shit with like Bryce and like Harry like you and I don't really yeah if you go to your page there's multiple victims of this (laughs) victims victims with paid rent I think it's I think it's fun to mislead people (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, so cody comes in and he goes he's going 100 percent after you now he posted on a story publicly today this is my favorite picture of you tana because i'm always thinking like this uh. <laughs> <laughs> i constantly wake up i'm like fuck i'm fucking horny <laughs> this is like, like having one of your subscribers in real life <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to meet one in that case i love you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby hey i want to still use it while it's still working eventually yeah. you get to an age as a man that it's not going to work no yeah. more yeah last night my bodyguard was with me and my bodyguard is like 50 and you you gave him dick pills yeah yeah i owe yeah. him i owe him dick pills and he's like family to me the thought of him even fucking is terrifying to me yeah. i can't believe that. i'm sure it's terrifying for the girl he's fucking too that guy's a big guy <laughs> <laughs> it's a norm in society though people have to fuck it's like a sport what is the point of taking like I understand taking a dick pill to fuck like you know what I mean like you're going to your girl's house and you're like I want to be hard on that I want to fuck you take the dick pill what's the point of like going to a party on it just be prepared no that's an, that's an insane thing to do I know a lot of people <laughs> who do you, that though you take a, a Cialis before you yeah, go yeah like Viagra or those like honey packets that do the same thing well, and they take it before they go out good one guys <laughs> like this madman yeah. yeah yeah. I know a lot of people Bryce well, Hall used to do that hella yeah but bodybuilders take Cialis it, it opens up your veins and stuff gives you extra blood there's flow. other benefits <laughs> yeah. do you feel a certain like obviously <laughs> I just get horny thoughts <laughs> but like does it make you like feel like we can't for lack this of guy. a better term like coked up it's better than coked up my shit's just ready to go at all times <laughs> coke gives me limp dick that I gotta shake it it's like a fucking little noodle I'm like oh my god 
<laughs> I'm so coked out. My mind's not working with my dick. Today's episode is sponsored by Dad Grass. Chill out all summer long with Dad Grass because it's too nice out to be couch locked. You know, when you get too damn high from cannabis products nowadays. Dad Grass is perfect to mellow you out while keeping your head clear and ease away the stress of the day. Dad Grass is legal organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Dad Grass CBD products are made with 100% organic hemp. That's easy to dose and the effects come on smooth. They offer a variety of products from their token smokable pre-rolled joints as well as hemp flower and a variety of CBD tincture drops to help with anxiety. Enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the US. Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm. That's dadgrass.com slash jefffm for so, 20% off your first order. From when I got sued and they came to the address in Vine, he like, the police just came here serving me paperwork with Did the they? car accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because one time he got in a car accident, but then he got arrested after and he got sent away for four years. So all the what damage from do? the car accident, he just said, fuck it. And it was a Ooh. rental car, too. It's not a scroll. What told, didn't he, I do? He totaled the Mercedes that was a rental from, and I won't say from where, but because they're probably still after him. <laughs> <laughs> but he got arrested like, for so long. no free promo shit. Serious. Yeah, what the fuck? Enterprise over here. Uh, oh, yeah, God. Enterprise. Cut Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I guess if you go away for that long, get arrested for that long, all of the debts and shit that you owe, they just kind of, you know, they realize they're not going to get them. So they just give up. Yeah, they stop give up. collections. So you think all of the money you owe, like credit card bills and stuff, just evaporated? That's it. It's gone. I got it all off my credit. It yeah. wasn't me. That's it. Dispute. So if you're in debt, just go to prison for seven plus years and you'll be fine. I would sell everything before then. Yeah. Including myself, my soul. Do you want to hear about the trip? Yeah, I need Arizona? you to talk because I'm serious. No thoughts are up here. Okay, so I went out, obviously, for Jake's fight. Woohoo! Fought Anderson Silva. It was exciting. Incredible. It was for really real. cool to be there. We did, uh, we shot a lot of stuff with Sugar Sean. He just had Love a big him. win. Yeah, he's great. Um, he took his girl to the Gucci store and said, buy whatever you want. That's beautiful. It is cool, you know, for like a prize fighter to make it to that level and take your girl yeah. there. It was really cool. It I listened really to um, Impulsive. I always listen to Impulsive. It's my favorite podcast. It's so funny that you were on it, but you didn't say one. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I'm a fucking host, you know. Yeah. I'm an alpha, I guess you would yeah. say, you know. So you can't just stick me on a thing and have Mike, you have Logan, you have Jake, and they're having like a heart-to-heart -heart brotherly moment. Yeah. And I got, I came on because we were going to yeah. fuck around. We had the fake Logan, and we are like, oh, let's do this bit. So we started messing around with that, and then Jake came in and threw the primes. He's like, how the fuck could you do this to me? You betrayed me. You, cut, you blurred out my brand yeah. and my company. And they had like a brother beef, and I was like, oh, this shit just got real. You know, yeah. we just fuck around. We talk about taking dick pills on this podcast. You know, that's what I'm used to. Yeah. We don't want to get into anything personal, personal beefs and shit. Yeah. That's the thing. I just took a back seat. I did like what Steven does. And yeah. it feels weird if you're on a podcast and you're not talking. Uh huh. So I know. if you feel weird right now because you're not chiming in, the, you probably are talking more than us today. But <laughs> yeah, it does feel weird to just sit there and not talk. It is a weird feeling. I agree. But you could also tell that a lot of the shit that was being said was very controversial. Like, you know what I mean? You're not going to be like, fuck Nate Diaz. Like, you know what I mean? And that's another thing. I'm a fan of Nate Diaz and Jake's yeah. going at people that I like. And he's like doing, he was doing like a voice where he's like making it like, uh, like, a, like a special needs. I can't be in this. I, I don't know. I don't want to chime in and be in a clip or something. But yeah. no, it was, it was a cool moment, you well, know, to see him with his whole team. It's just good. It's a good group of guys. Mm -hmm. You know, they're real. George, he's a real nice guy. I lost my AirPods. So um, flying back. He just talked to me about Jesus the entire flight. Holy Wild. Fuck. Yeah. That oh my God, it's jet suite, no Wi-Fi. You're straight looking at the no, ceiling, yeah. listening to like <laughs> yeah. sermon. I got into it. You know, I, he, I almost came home and read the Bible. But those guys are great. You know, it's it's cool to travel with them. I kind of feel yeah. like a part of a part of something, you know, I like agree. I feel with you. And That's they all cute. like we're staying in a hotel. They all got the products in their bathrooms. And I just walk in there. I see them doing their hair. And That's sweet. That's yeah, really sweet. It I is feel cool. like it's good for your your heart. You have a good group of guys. Around yeah, you. I need good male friends too. I can't just hang out with you and say slay all the time. I completely understand. You know, I try to save my bitching of like girl problems to you. Like I don't want to demasculate you too much. Tell me about your week because you did a lot. This is pretty much Tana FM now. So 
nothing's up here. <laughs> oh, you forgot everything? You were drunk the whole week. No, not really. Oh, yeah, let's talk about this. So I left, right? And you made me do that I got Wall drunk. Street shoot. And I wanted the pictures, right? But you have a thing where you won't send pictures unless you like how you look in them, which is fair. Or you if know? I like them. And we didn't get the coloring back on them. The photographer takes that seriously. There There's more film. to it. There's she colored them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, great photographer, by the way. She's incredible. That, those pictures are really sick. But and you were out all weekend partying, so you didn't send them to me. You didn't send so, them. Oh, my God. And then I see everybody else posting them. I see, you know. No, don't. If you're going to say it, just say it. You were fucking pissed that Todd and Natalie posted their fucking Wolf of Wall Street photos before us. Yeah. And, you know, you were pissed. For and sure. I was like, yo, how could you do this? I think our photos turned out great. They did really well. Yeah. The fans engaged with but out our of photos everyone really to well. copy uh, to do the same shit I as, mean, as yeah, us. Yeah, not copying us for sure. Yeah, style. yeah. Well, it's copying a fucking movie anyway, yeah, so we're huge. all copying. Lots of people did it. Yeah. Even Leo I think and it was just... Margot Robbie are copying the Wolf of Wall Street. Speaking yeah. of that, the real Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort liked the post, and that made me feel weird. I know. First, I was like, "Oh, that's dope," and then I was like, "I don't know if that's dope because I'm what a grown man dressing up like another grown man, <laughs> and and he's liking it." I think it's sick. I think it's cooler if the the person you're imitating is I'm not even gay. Is dead, and now I'm not saying right. that I want him to be dead. Jordan Belfort, you know, you said some inspirational shit. You also mm. ripped off a lot of innocent people, but you did your time. Your time served, and you're a good guy now. He was in my Big DMs Rick. a long time ago. Was he? Mm-hmm. My Twitter okay. DMs. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore now. <laughs> No, just because he's like one of my peers. You know, we've been talking about having him on the podcast yeah. or me doing his show. And then like, I, mean, I don't God, know how. I guess you could look at it like that. But like for me, Halloween's fun. I had a great time. It's really cool that people were, we were paying homage to liked yeah. our photo. I wonder if he liked Todd and Natalie's. <laughs> no, I mean, it was fine. You know, it was whatever. It's a costume. But like, I just feel like a super fan of Jordan Belfort, you know? I think you can pay homage to someone without being a super fan yeah give them their flowers while they're still here you know (laughs) i was scared as fuck to be anna nicole smith for some reason because it felt like such a bad weird omen that is a perfect costume for you for sure and pam is a great one for you too all the ones you played out this year for sure everyone was pam but i was pam last year i was ahead of my time i don't know it's hot tits yeah thin eyebrows thin eyebrows and tits man so fun this is a segment that you'll enjoy we Thank were going to react to celebrity Halloween costumes. It's cheap content. I know, but I, I like it. it. I like it. I like it. I'm into it. I'm but mad we, into it. We gave you some motivational stuff. We gave you some real stuff. Thank you. And now it's time to play <laughs> you so much. play games and do dumb Thank shit. You. Honestly, yeah, there's just nothing up here. You could have a blow-up doll here right now, like a blow-up sex doll, and I think it would provide more personality than me today. You're great, Tana. This is easy for you. Let's just react to costumes. We'll make fun of everybody, all the celebrities. Yeah, I'll try to think of some pop culture shit, too. I'm just... Let's get into the costumes. Get okay, we got Harry Styles' Halloween costume. What is it, just Harry, Harry Styles? Styles just... As Grease? Danny Zuko. Is that what that is? It just looks like Harry Styles. It, it really like does Elvis. just look like Harry Styles. I mean... One out of ten, rate it. I want him to punch me in the face lately. Like, just such a beautiful man. Like, punch me. I mean, it's low effort, so I think that's cool. I think trying too hard for costumes as a man is, is a little too much, so I give it a ten. I'll give him a ten for that. <laughs> Very funny. Kendall Jenner's Halloween costume. She went as a, a sliced cucumber. Did you not see the, the meme that went like, of course you fucking didn't. No. Um, where Kendall Jenner, she went viral because she was on the Kardashians cutting a cucumber like really poorly, like hand on the other side, like backwards. Like it was just like as if she'd never ever done it in her life. And it like went super viral. So it was just, you think it was forced? I think it's her being like, look, I'm funny. I can laugh at myself too. Did it get so popular? Cause it was like, no way Kendall cuts her own cucumbers. It was a little meaner than that. It was like, a, she's obviously had a fucking chef her whole life. Like she can't, she can't do this. Damn. Like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's good for her and she looks amazing. So that is cool. 10. Yeah, so we give that one a 10, right? Yeah. I give, give Kendall. Yeah. Whatever Kendall does for Halloween is always dope. I always give, I give all yeah. our costumes a 10. All the Kardashians and Jenners just have it on lock. I think that's why I love doing Halloween crazy. Cause I like have seen them do it for so long. Like I just respect it. They made it into like an Instagram event. Exactly. And that's why I love Halloween. I've never put that together. I love a fucking Instagram event. I love free clout. You think they are competitive with each other? Like, you got Kylie, you got Kendall and Kim. I feel like they're, like, looking at each other's likes. Like, I'm going to get more You than know Kim Kylie's just going to get the most, for Does sure. Does she get every, the most? Every single time. I guess, yeah, she's the most famous but now, But probably huh? innately as sisters are competitive, you know? But at the same time, they have to be like, we're all the fucking shit. Yeah, but it's, uh, that's not really how people's brains works. You always want more. 
even no if, way they you can't have more like if you're them like what's more literally being god in the sky like not like as in there like that but i'm saying like fame wise what do you, like what what's above that well i guess kim is the most no she's not even the richest right that's kylie, kylie. What the fuck has this podcast become? We used to talk UFC and jail stories. <laughs> I was and just now we're thinking talking. That. I was just thinking that. Which Kardashian has Tell the most clout? Tell me about jail. Who gives Tell a fuck? Tell me about jail. When you were in the comments, like when you'd get your commentary food, what was like your favorite thing to like whip up in jail? I would just get water because I was trying to get in shape in there and I would get <laughs> tuna. Yeah, I was ordering bottles of water and all the other gang members, they're like, the fuck are you doing you idiot you could get soda for that price and i'm like i don't want soda and they just looked at me like i was insane they were trying to clean up my diet and my life because i knew i was getting out soon that's fair i was gonna be in there for life like it's kind of beautiful it's and i was getting even. tuna and i was like you know getting my workouts and trying to get high protein prison. should we talk more kardashians we should do at least a half hour on the kardashians <laughs> right <laughs> what else you got about them um do you think God. travis is cheating on kylie did you see that? Uh, I don't think so. They do too much PDA. That's um Courtney. And Travis. <laughs> Courtney and <laughs> Travis Scott. Travis, Travis Scott Barker. No, is that what Okay, Travis fuck Scott. this <laughs> segment. Kardashian segment. I'm going to edit it all out myself. Yeah, you should. Leave it in. Oscar. God, he, he makes edits when he cares. <laughs> that we need out. Yeah. All the Kardashian talk. I want out. And I actually want to issue this time to make a formal apology to Lana Rhodes. That was what one of the things I wanted to cut out of the last podcast. I made a joke where I, Mike was saying something about the baby daddy, and I was like, you should dress up as the baby daddy be, and just not show up, like as in a joke. Today. But the joke was just like mean and didn't land, and Mike couldn't No, it's a good joke. No, that sounds like No, but like if I, I just would I love Lana, and if she saw that, I, I just want her to know like I was thinking with my little fucking pea brain, and it was just so stupid. Like, do you ever just say something, and you're like, that could have stayed in the drafts. All the time. Could have stayed in the drafts, Tana, and I just want to hold myself accountable for that. And... Yeah, suck a dick for not cutting That's it. what you were mad that you wanted to cut out? That's a solid There's joke. There's some other things, but I don't really want to bring light to them. And Lana watches this podcast every episode. Yeah. Listens to it, watches Love it. She's probably watching the video version, you know? Yeah. So, Lana, if you're you watching... I, I love you, Lana. Lana, yeah, we all love you, and she has a great sense of humor. She's amazing. People say mean shit to her. She's fucking loaded. She's beautiful. You yeah. know, who gives a fuck? She she's has a baby. She's happy. She's a strong fucking woman. It actually sucks dick the way society is, like, to her and about her kid and shit, and I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be on that side of the narrative, and I just want to issue that apology, because okay. I say dumb shit. Do you have any apologies you want to make to anybody since we're here platforming you? <laughs> platforming you. I'm not saying sorry to nobody. Is that right? <laughs> 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 That's like the Conor McGregor. Yeah. I'd like to take this moment to Fuck apologize you all. to absolutely nobody. That nobody was, was sorry that I went to prison. <laughs> Well, you had fucked over all of us, Cody, when you went away. You were drug addicted. You were robbing everybody blind. You were robbing people saying, oh, Jeff will pay you back. And then you fucking go away for four years. And then I got people coming to me. Yo, Cody said you got this. Did you pay people back for him? Fuck no. <laughs> no way. It's like you the, go chase him down. It's like the rental car company. Yeah, it's like the rental car company. <laughs> and, and all his debts have been erased. Yeah. He's back. I forgot all those bad memories. And we're good. You know, like nothing ever happened. Apologize to fucking nobody. <laughs> Just go to jail for long enough and they'll forget. And when you come back, they'll be happy to see you. Oh my God. I have a stalker again. So do I. Oh, yeah. So does You Jeff. do? Can I talk about this? Uh... Bro, I just tried to file a restraining order I'm yesterday. I'm not trying to get actually murdered, though. And I've gone up and down with that in life because I've had a couple really bad stalkers. And it kind of sucks because it's like... One, you're giving awareness, so if you die, people know who it is. Or, mm -hmm. like, if they if they fuck with you, there's a track history of you saying these are all the times they fucked with me, so you can take that to, like, court and shit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you are giving them exactly mm -hmm. what they want. Well, Jeff Stalker uh, emails all the encounters. Please tell me, even if we cut it, because okay. I'll tell you mine, and that's a good segment, and I'll we literally have nothing. We might as well be farting into these mics right now. I know, I'll tell you. And she's, like... It's a girl. What do you think she's doing? I was pulling my... Pulling my truck out of my garage. Oh, and, now I'm going to be terrified to come here. Okay, go. And I saw her. And this is not the first time I saw is her. Is she, she the one that showed up to your door and you answered shirtless and then you, she was outside for days? Yeah. yeah. And didn't, didn't say anything. Just kind of yeah. like. Well, I listen. You do. That's good. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I leave. I pull out and I see her and I'm like, I call Oscar. I'm like, yo, fuck, man. Like, I don't know what to do. And as I'm talking to Oscar, my door opens up. <laughs> She hops in, and I scream like a fucking... 
<laughs> the Oscar, what was my scream like? Dude, he sounds like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about these costumes fucking emasculating him. Here he is. Fucking Christ. It was so embarrassing the way I screamed. But that's, but that's scary. Like, it is just like an internal reaction. Yeah, yeah. So I, I pull off. With Should the door, the door is like she's like half in the car, and like door closes, and I just pull off. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. She just goes I over the car. Her over. You're just a big ass thud. So I pull back around to make sure she's okay, and then she comes. Your fault. You're I dying know. in a scary movie. I'm, I'm, a fucking I'm sorry. You're stalking. I won't even say what I, I was going to say because I literally have a stalker. I have the audio because I recorded. Don't play the audio. <laughs> please, 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 just I you can cut it. it. I just want to hear it. Please, please, no, please, no, the, the please. Scree- the scream isn't there. It's just like the, his interaction with her. Like he pretty much goes, goes around the block and tries to, like, find her because he's like, I gotta talk to her just to like see like what's up. Get Good her. for you. I pull around and I'm just trying to because Oscar, you, know, you better maybe, play that shit. You better run that shit back yeah. turbo. Maybe there's something that she wanted that you know I could just go over there and just say hi and maybe we could just whatever's going on we and can this because this is like a couple times now like i come back around again and i'm like whoa stay back stay back <laughs> back i say <laughs> <laughs> and no words nothing just straight to the door grabs it again pulling the lock up and starts trying to pull in and i'm like yo this is fucking no words wild. like crazy eyes type like no words yeah yeah and so then you just drove away again yeah then I just drove away again. Bro, it's fucked. That's fucked. It sucks. I'm paying for 24-7 security at my house again, which, by the way, is like $30,000 a month. It makes me sick. Why don't you just fly out one of your friends from your hometown that just got out of prison you get and Cody? keep him around, you know? <laughs> just hang out with me. You know, now Hey, I don't get gotta... the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you got mental issues. So do oh, I. God. So do I. I'll beat your fucking ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure, though. I mean... To them, I, I feel that if you're showing up, this guy, he's, it's crazy, bro. Like, I've had stalkers that were, like, guys that I, like, little guys that I felt like I could, like, take or whatever. Like, they weren't, like, terrifying to me. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, I hate even saying this. You're right. I feel how you feel now. Like, big ass dude. He started stalking me on OnlyFans, was sending me crazy messages. And my best friend, Ashley, Mike's favorite, Ashley Schwan, um, he was stalking her as well and we lived together at one point he sent us photos I, I lived on this hill with this big ass house photos of him climbing the mountain into the like back of my house with a knife Damn. crazy shit like would show up if we went out to eat he'd send us a photo like on OnlyFans like how was your meal like saw you like straight up like at a restaurant whatever and now he found my new house's address he lives out of a van he messages me like every second he sent a photo of his dick too your situation's much worse than mine and I, now he's been a, send, ha- dropping off all my favorite foods at my house like ev- every fucking day, like you're. What do you do with the food? Nothing. What Throw if, it what away. If, what if you're really hungry and it's like? <laughs> I'm not eating anybody's what chloroform. Food? What are your favorite foods? All awful shit too. I always post like weird food combinations that I eat, like hot Cheetos with like pickle and like chamoy and tahini and like gushers. Yes, like weird. And it's I'm like you're making me hate my favorite shit. I'm not gonna <laughs> fucking eat it. Like I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> oh my god it's so terrifying and you can't file a restraining order on anyone who doesn't live anywhere like what are you gonna do i submit this to van he lives in a van can't fucking do that even if you did have an address they wouldn't give a fuck anyway cops in la don't care there's they so much care. crime going uh, on the last time he sent me a bunch of flowers and they just like show up to my house like six hours after i called the police and they're like what he sent you flowers to your big mansion like dead ass like so fucking mean and the other day it was like i'm not even gonna call 911 they're gonna be like oh there were pickles at your door sweetie <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck am i gonna do like i can't i can't and i want to get a gun but, I, but like <laughs> people who don't need guns right here imagine me like drunk to my ex like i'm fucking done in here like <laughs> Awful! Oh, I was just picturing that scene in Goodfellas. Uh, you never seen Goodfellas, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> What's well, mean that you just assumed it? <laughs> where where uh, Karen, Karen, she gets up with a gun in the middle of the night. She found out he was cheating. She puts a gun in his face, and he just grabs the gun and throws it on the floor, puts a gun in her. Don't ever fucking do that again. <laughs> now I want to watch that tonight. That's incredible. Yeah, no, that would literally... Imagine me today. I'm like, you didn't make podcast yet. <laughs> like, awful. Don't need a gun. But, yeah, I don't fucking know, man, man. And I just couldn't... You're, yeah, that's wild being a girl and having a guy follow you around. Like, my situation, I wouldn't even call it a stalker situation. It's just like... Uh, I, have, I have the audio right here. No, don't play the audio. <laughs> 
Ross. Please, Please I, I, I for the wanna, audio. I didn't want to put this in. Please, I'm just so sad about my stalker. I need something to cheer up. I didn't up. say it. You brought it out of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Get it in the car. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, cut it, cut it, cut it. That's enough. Why are you hearing that so much? That's a <sighs> completely normal, manly reaction. Don't worry, you sound manly. <laughs> I know, but I just feel bad. I feel like I'm, you know. Yeah, I don't feel bad. Wake up, Henry. Damn, you had that sound bite? No, uh, Oscar um, just pulled up the good pose. Uh, this is me and you, Tana. Do you love Josie? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I just threw a name out there. <laughs> crazy enough to kill them. You don't even know what you're doing. I don't think I could be crazy to you like this. Okay. Do you love her? <laughs> I have been this crazy, though. I have been this crazy. How could I hurt him? I couldn't even bring myself to leave him. I thought the that was Tanner for a sec. I thought she was no doing an impression. I felt, I was still very attracted to him. <laughs> me? Just take that I'm like, fuck I me right now. <laughs> Why should she win? Look, he sees his opportunity. <laughs> oh, damn. Are you um, crazy, Kermit? Are you crazy? Huh? I got enough to worry about getting fucking whacked down the street. I'm I gotta fucking come home. What are your thoughts right now? I gotta fucking come home. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm not kidding you. Not one thought other than I love shit like this. I want to call my ex. I want to do this tonight. I love toxic shit. I love toxic shit. All right, today's episode is sponsored by my friends at SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. With the NBA season tipping off and the NFL in full swing, you're not going to want to miss out. If you guys know me, you know I love Taylor Swift, so I use SeatGeek anytime I find out Taylor Swift's in town, or if she's somewhere else, I'll see where she's performing, I will fly there, and I use my own promo code Jeff to get $20 off tickets. I love you, Taylor Swift, if you're watching this. Um, DM me back. And with SeatGeek, they always want to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. It's the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know I come through for you guys. Use my code Jeff for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you, Seek Geek, for sponsoring the show, as always. We love you, Seek Geek. Have you ever had a girl wake you up on some crazy shit? When I was in Miami, when I was living in Miami, I was 20, I was 20 years old. Your Miami era is by far wild, my favorite. Wild, <laughs> I, I wish I had more memory of it, because we were talking about this yesterday. I always we were so drunk through all these stories that my memory is blurred. It's like my whole life. And once you stop drinking and you hit that point where you become like dependent on it or whatever, yeah. and then you'll like, you'll have more memories. But <laughs> cool. Good. So um, I was dating this girl and I really liked her. She was older than me. She was like 26, 27. She's a really cool girl, but I had lied about my age to her and I had chalked my ID. You know what that means when you chalk your ID? Like when you scrape it off or you put the black. You scrape like it to... off and you, you just kind of tweak yeah. the... So I yes. tweaked my nine. I turned an eight into a three type. Yeah, so I, I'm 89, so I made it uh, 88. I turned the eight to a nine. And I, I, this is bad, you're gonna make fun of my age now. By year? So I turned nine to an eight, just so that made me 21. Yeah. But I was actually 20. So I lied to everyone. For that whole year, I was just like, yo, this is just a lie I'm going with for my employer at the time, my girlfriend. Friends, I was just living like Frank Abagnale and catch me if you can. You know, I chalk, chalk I remember, shit. I remember. I guess I had jumped in a pool or something with my wallet mm -hmm. and it had washed off. And she found my ID when I was sleeping and she woke me up and she was like, What the fuck? And I know it's not a big, it's not that big a deal, but yeah. at the time it felt like it was a much bigger deal as a 20 year old lying yeah. about your age. To it's also just scary when someone it like wakes you up pissed at you in any way. Like it's just like like a very disorienting feeling. Yeah, and this was like six months into our relationship. Yeah. She had met my parents. I was so scared when she met my parents because I was like, I'm, they're gonna slip up and say my fucking real age. That's, oh my, you didn't prep your parents? Oh, but your parents are so sweet. They probably would have been like, we're not gonna lie for you, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I was going out to clubs, you know, like all this stuff I was doing, I needed to be 21 for. So I was just living this lie. And yeah. then I get woken up by her and she was pissed off. Like mm. this was her reputation on the line. You know, she was a model. She had friends in the <laughs> entertainment business. And she Is she was, the one who cheated on you while yeah, you were in jail? Yeah, so f uh, fuck it. I knew you know? everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking wild, huh? Yeah, it was wild. Jeff had I like... I guess she got you back. This guy had impeccable G. <laughs> Could talk any girl out of her panties. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, awesome. Give, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I tell them a story? Of course. Yeah, I don't, I don't we'll know. just edit it I out. Mean, it's, we're not live, thank God. All right, so we'll just edit this out. So one time and I was with Jeff for everybody, in right? Miami, and he was talking to this girl at one time, but then he had another girl. And he told one girl that the, that was his cousin. And I was like, how the fuck are you I pulling this off? I dated someone who did this to me. I was like, and this girl, she was white. And the other girl was like light-skinned black girl. And I was like, what the fuck? You told her this is your cousin? I was like, you're the fucking man. That's it. I was <laughs> dating this guy for a while where I would be at his house. And he'd be like, this girl's my cousin. And she's my assistant. Like, I hired her. so she. And That's I, what I, I did. And, I, <laughs> and I'd be there, like, straight hooking up with him. And she'd be, like, cleaning yeah. in the kitchen and shit for months. And then I found out it was just his other girlfriend one day. And I was like, god damn. What, that's Crazy. it. Yeah. You're just like God. You weren't mad. I was so fucking mad. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, your mad. reaction was like, "Oh, that was kind of." It's clever. just a while ago. I mean, no, but that's that's crazy that's some out of pocket shit like you're like straight living with this man and then this bitch who's there every day just when you leave is like let me suck your pussy off his cock like how well, do you not like <laughs> at the time I was like mind blown but like you know it's, I think it's it comes with time. age you know yeah. you're yeah. young you're sexually active you're getting away. actually people just like feed off of it because they're getting away with it yeah but in, in sure. our situation it was kind of like how our relationship whoa it's it kind of started out like yo we're just friends nothing will ever happen you know yeah this is what our, our deal that we had set up because she was the receptionist at the barber shop in new york that i mm -hmm. i don't want to give away too many details as i give away all the details again and then say that at the end the so when she came down there i was like okay i have a girlfriend it's gonna be a little weird let's just say you're my cousin it's like a staten island italian thing and we just went with that. So she didn't get mad because she was a little nuts, like finding the ID and then fucking cheating on me when I was in jail. Like she. So she was the one who was down to be your cousin? He, no, no. My girl, well, yeah, the, the Italian girl from... The, the one who found your ID. She was my girlfriend. Yeah, and she was down to lie and say she was your cousin? No, so, so get... she was the... Oh, you were lying to her. Yeah. We didn't hook up until after we had broken He's up. He's just like lying right now. He's just like thinking of how to lie still. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Like... Ten years later, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> I was only nineteen years old. I was nineteen at the yeah. time. Yeah, and I don't know what I've the fuck that. I was doing, trying to fly in people Miami. Out in Miami, imagine that. I, I had a boyfriend, and I told him, I like, I was just over this shit. I kept trying to like break up with him. He wouldn't let me break up with him, so I started seeing this other guy. This was actually last Christmas. Um, <laughs> 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 and um, this guy was uh, my stylist on set. And I loved him like immediately. Like he just, he gave Pete Davidson, he was everything I wanted. And so then I, I started kicking it with him obviously and like seeing him a little bit. And I told the guy I was with at the time that he was my gay stylist. And then the guy I was seeing came over like an episode of Maury, like on the ring camera. I still have the footage to this day. And he was like, you fucking hoe. Like he's not gay. He's here with you right now. You guys are like celebrating Christmas stuff. Like fuck you in front of him. And then they both were like, yeah, I'm done with her. Damn. And then he fucked my best friend. Oh, he got and even. And then sent huh? me a photo of her sucking his dick on Christmas Day. Damn, and said, that's gay. Merry gangster. Christmas. <laughs> and then said, Merry Christmas, reblocked, blocked me. I couldn't even respond. Oh I couldn't God. even respond. So then I had to go fuck his best friend. It was awful. It was oh, like, oh, it was a whole oh, ass, oh whole ass mess. Shit. But now we're good. I hung out with him last week. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god. Who wants to fuck me? <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> out of pocket. Out of pocket energy. Nice. I love that shit. I want to be in the mix of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked her. <laughs> so out of pocket. But the friend was already my ex. It was a whole mess. A whole toxic era for sure. That's some creative revenge that he got though. I'm creative a, as shit. Yeah. I'm kind of... I, I could get behind that. That's pretty cool. As much as I hated it, it was more like funny. Like I, I like my friends and I, we were all just like dying laughing because like who the fuck does and that? And reblocked you right and, away. Yeah, couldn't even respond. I tried to yeah, write, but, I don't care. She went green. See, but you don't ever <laughs> know. Maybe he was fucking her the whole time and he just had it lined up already. I, I'm sure he literally did. I'm, I'm sure. sure he. It, it was just a whole. You know, it's a world. Maybe, yeah, they just I, came out the closet with it. Yeah, that's fair. Humans are fucking disgusting. For real, man. Can't but trust I'm, them. But there's, I'm reborn there's some, now. there's some relationships that you guys kind of both know that it's just like not. Yeah, toxic is just addicting. Toxic, to shit. yeah. You know, it's, it's a toxic relationship. It sucks. I've had to like really rewire my brain. I feel like in the last yeah. year to learn that healthy is like great, but it's still like there are those days where it's like, you know. Even like, back, 19 year old <sighs> me, that wasn't my intention to pull off this 
grandmaster plan where I bring this girl out. She's going to pose as my family member and I'm going to have a side piece. It wasn't like that. Like Cody explained it like that. Like it was really cool. But for us, all this stuff happened with this girl and she's just, I just brought her out because I knew that she didn't like her life in Staten Island. And I was like, yo, come down here. This is like Aww. way better lifestyle. You're a good guy. She's yeah. A hero. And then my, so sweet. my dick actually. Come down here and suck this dick. <laughs> no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> this will change your life. This will change your I life. I even did that for Co- like Cody. I called you to come you down to Miami. Yeah, yeah, for Cody to come <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop that. No. no, so Cody came down and he started doing the same shit. Birds and of a feather flock together. He ended together. up moving down and bringing out everybody else and then I get it. before you know, you know it there's 40 of us out here yeah and in my toxic eras as well same thing like my girlfriends are not like my good like wholesome let's go get a pedicure it's the ones that are like i'm on ketamine let's go suck dick <laughs> like you know what i mean like it's i get it like when you're in that you surround yourself with that that ketamine that's i, that's, I don't do ketamine that's coming back around though. that's like a big people thing people love huh? ketamine i don't i really i sincerely like I, I can't get behind the get mean wave. I knew a, I knew a guy it? I knew a guy that used to do so much K in the club. He used to come in the back of my ear and go meow. I get that shit. And I used to be weird. fucking like holy it's shit. Cat, it's cat this guy is right? fucking horse on, tranquilizer. Yeah, is it horse, horse or cat? Horse. 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 It's animal tranquilizer. I think it's horse. I don't. I'm not too sure. Yeah, they they, but they market it like people call ketamine horse tranquilizer. No, you get it from the veterinarian. I saw this guy dressed up on <laughs> Halloween actually with a big ass bag of white powder, like a ziploc bag filled with white powder, and a horse mask on and a shirt that just said k i was like that's so incredible yeah. but yeah no guys do we have any topics you want to talk about any current events anything going on tiktok charlie d'amelio she dropped a song uh <laughs> Good listen to it fucking job did Jeff. you like it did you listen to the song yeah i liked it i've been watching the d'amelio show they're up oh they're yeah so so like it's just fascinating it's a good family they're they're they, got, they are goals i i met mark a few times he is they're cool they're guy. awesome they are mm-hmm. awesome. But that's not good. That's not going to sell. That's not going to get p- ratings on our podcast. Here. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got you, I got you. Relax. We got to talk bad about them. Mm. Sorry, Mark. No, I can't. Um, Elon Musk is in hot water. Yeah, fuck Elon Musk. I don't give but a fuck. He's going to, he might bring back your Vine career. <laughs> oh, Elon Musk is going to bring back Vine. Too late. I don't, who the fuck he's is going to. He's making gonna... people pay for uh, verification. That's Twitter ridiculous. Verification. That's ridiculous. You see, uh, like, people that are verified, they're like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, for sure, because you oh, want to feel like a, above everyone else, but uh, but everyone else is like, this is it. Like, you know. No, but uh, the whole point is to differentiate your account from fake accounts. So what if they just pay the $8? Then yeah. they could just be like, but then real Elon Jeff was Wittick. just saying, like, People do that anyways. I've had people do that to me. Like, verified accounts just change their fucking shit. Bro, like, there's a new thing on Instagram. People getting verified as fake musicians. That's the cheapest way to get verified. Is that the way to do it? Yeah, they fucking do, like, a little Spotify thing. It's, like, 10 grand. Okay. Bunch of these losers. It's interesting, though, because, like, Elon Musk is kind of, like change the way society moves like 10 years ago obviously so many of the things that elon musk has implemented like no like weren't didn't exist like couldn't you see him completely like, what? like charging your car charging your car like, paypal yeah for sure crazy not paypal but like paypal, right? PayPal? Yeah. so just Flame you know, just the i guess the way society that was his first business that's what is. made him the most money was his PayPal? selling of paypal yeah i did not know that yeah he i mean it's and paypal bomb. paypal was the first like thing to really Normalize app. like yeah, like sending money. They for still use that. online. They use you, think that. He's a, sure. you think he's a demon? You think oh, he's no, the bro. devil? I would love to know. I my dad know. says he's gonna end up in prison. You think not so? right now, bro? But my dad's he insane. Fucks bitches. He's a billionaire. Yeah, no, I, I was more so thinking like <laughs> he's the I be richest man on the must? planet, right? Yeah, for sure. But I, <laughs> can you see him <laughs> change like <laughs> the way we look at social media, verification, fame, everything by doing shit like this, like destigmatizing like the modern day ideas? Of he fame. banned Grimes from cool. Twitter. Like, did he? I think so. He banned his ex girlfriend off Twitter. That's hard. That is pretty. Imagine yeah. having Elon Musk's resources and money like we're talking about petty shit we've done like but imagine like oh, that like Christmas sh- photo him sending you the, the like, ex sending you the picture like, imagine what Elon could pull off right like that's he crazy he just did something like that he got it in a Twitter beef with uh, AOC which is like some government official yeah. and then like somehow like got her shadow banned and she like screenshot it and replied to the beef with it like oh all of a sudden I can't look at my notifications because he's the owner of Twitter is he gonna bring back Trump uh, I think I don't know anything about that I saw a fake tweet that he did that, and I was like, oh, shit. I saw but that. I thought it was real. Maybe it was. I don't know. Kyle's our source of I was texting Mike about right it. Mike was like, called it. Going off thoughts. <laughs> oh, did you text yeah. Mike about that? Yeah, and he was like, called it. It was funny. Somebody put out a tweet saying that. 
He put Elon was going to bring back Vine and he was going to make Logan Paul the CEO. And Logan liked it. And I was with Logan when he was... I think they just like playing games. Like, if he yeah. just likes it, that, like, verifies yeah. that, oh, this is real. Yeah, like, it brings buzz and attention. But so these smart. are all just fucking rich guys fucking around, you yeah. know? And even if he did bring back Vine... Why does that sound like a good idea to me, though? Bring like, back Vine? No, like, Logan Paul is CEO of Vine 2.0. <laughs> like, great idea. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> I mean, me? yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess. But I, Logan don't want to fucking do... I mean, I guess he would if, it, if the money was right and all that, but I don't see it being a thing that we need now before yeah. tiktok and before that's Reels what and- i don't understand but at the same time elon musk's mind is different than our mere peasant pea brain minds and maybe he, there's he's gonna do something revolutionary by bringing back fine no i think it's just a battle for your attention online just like we it's used so to funny. fight <laughs> to conquer land cody you remember back in the day or what we're doing right now we're conquering land you guys are just All like elon musk just we're, like but, elon musk but now it's a fight for cyber real estate yeah and your attention is what people want that's why elon's trying to get back he's buying twitter now that's the biggest real estate you could buy good point <laughs> what are we what are we doing it's the worst fucking podcast but i am so sorry i'm, I'm it's just me talking yeah and why i'm just gotta, listening i don't know why i'm here should i see myself out <laughs> no we need your opinion on these topics okay um, if vine came back are you gonna get on vine tana she but, posts seven TikToks bro, if a people day. Were, if like, people were on Venmo clout farming, I would be there, <laughs> you know? Um, I, I think it's funny, though, how if Elon's doing some shit like Bring Back Vine, you're like, I don't know, man. But Kanye could like take a shit on the side of the road and post a photo of it, and you'd be like, there's greater good genius in that. <laughs> like, I say that? Yeah. I do, like, huh? Kanye's your Elon. See, and then I talk, and you just there, fucking respond no, to me like that. Like, why the fuck that. would I keep talking? Because now I feel like I'm in, um, in a controversial topic here. Uh, mm. You know, I've... Uh, and, of course, you do have the power no to No secret, that out. I've been a fan of Kanye. Oh, oh, like you don't... Now, are you no... <laughs> looks like it's hurting you to what talk about this. What a fucking... It, look at me. I'm scared to even say that I like an artist. People still like Michael Jackson, and he was doing all this... <laughs> pedophile shit to little kids you know what are your thoughts on kanye i don't know i like him he's creative i think he's going through a lot because his he, his family you know could be tough has a baby mom it could fuck anybody up mentally and you know the jews do control everything they have like their own police and ambulance in brooklyn we're gonna get deplatformed because i let cody handle this you gotta meet my <laughs> jew friends in brooklyn i met that i know them they all steal from each other no that's not true they they do help each other. But they help each other. Learn about other businesses and stuff like yeah. that. Which is what Kanye is trying to do for his community. He's trying to say we should be looking out for each other and sharing ways to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I, I left my own body. I, I was thinking about which nail art I want to get next. Like, should I pink or? <laughs> we're, we don't know what the fuck we're talking yeah, about yeah. anyway. Cut so, that. I don't, don't want to be involved with the Jew stuff. Yeah. Leave it in. You don't care. It's no, I don't. Fine. Somebody's the Jews are cool. An, somebody's got to have a real opinion here. We cannot just be sheep that are fucking scared to talk about stuff. Why do we have a podcast if we're not going to talk about a real opinion? Seriously, square nails or oval? So, Cody. <laughs> 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 I can't make my mind up. Yeah. And I'm scared to share my opinion. So, Cody, you share yours. Yeah. And then when you get canceled, I'll get another dumb idiot to sit in that chair. Yeah. I'm going to look at pop culture shit. Maybe we take a caller. Yeah. We got callers on here. You doing it? You doing Bathroom Boys job now? Hello. Hello. What's up, guys? Uh, nothing, man. You know, just Hi. it's it's a slow day for us. Our brains are still yeah. recovering from all our Halloween costumes. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Long, long, uh, long Halloween weekend or what? Is this a confession that you called in uh, for? No, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. You know, I do have a confession. Um, okay. I used to work at Best Buy. I used to work at Best Buy, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, Geek Squad like or non Geek Squad? Not Geek Squad. Hell no. So Hell I found some no. cashier shit? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was up front. I was up front. <laughs> I was at the cashier. I and love it. uh, I don't know. You guys are probably been to Best Buy. You guys are. But yeah, what's the, the point stuff? of putting candy in, in the Best Buy? Like, it's all electronic devices and then they just you know got what? like Butterfingers up front. Because kids hey, go to Best sh- Buy. That's true. Shout out to, shout out to all the uh, Best Buy employees. We actually just take those and don't really pay for them. That's the confession you used to, so what's you used your- to eat the candy at Best Buy? <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. You're going to hell. No, I don't want to go. Okay. All right. Uh, so, okay. I was bored as hell one day. I'm always bored up front. There's really nothing to do because all these salespeople just take the. Uh, the customer, so I have nothing to do up front at the cashier place. Mm-hmm. So I'm on my phone, but I was going through the computer one day and I realized you can do like 
a, a person look up, right? When you're like putting in your phone number or whatever for the rewards. Uh-huh. So I just started like searching my friends as a joke. Mm. And uh, I print and I printed out a receipt because you can print like old receipts and stuff like that. And it looked like my friend's dad bought a fridge way back in the day, like 08 or something like that. Mm. Sit down, Cody. I think uh, we're about to get a grand larceny confession. It's going to be <laughs> solid. Was it over a grand what you stole, bro? Oh, man. Did you steal I didn't a steal fridge? I didn't steal going, I mean, going. I stole like, I stole like IP, but, well, I didn't steal it. I don't have it anymore, but. Stole um, IP. Bro, okay. just shut up. Stop incriminating yourself. <laughs> That's Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone, brother. No, this is a segment we do where people call in anonymously. So Okay, yeah, this is anonymous. And listen, the Jeff FM audience, super smart. Like, none of you guys would ever repeat this. This is always y'all. Yeah, yeah, nice one. No one ever says Eddie think about my audience like they know they're all just like fatherless dumb whores. <laughs> oh shout out to the audience too. you guys are the ones keeping the jet fam audience uh, on their toes yo that's okay to leave it in we just don't really fit but I, no but we were late over that they know what they are like, I am the president of the fatherless dumb whores. I'm just here to drink lacrosse she's and a, fuck she's one of a kind <laughs> and so are you Cody and so are you but I don't like this new character that you're doing, just so sexual. You gotta stop with the Cialis during the day. Uh, uh. <laughs> Please keep telling me you printed your refrigerator receipt. Uh, come yeah, I got on. the friend. So I, I need a I reason to live. And I was like, I was like, okay, 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 okay. So I started like, I was like, all right, what about celebrities, right? So it's getting you know, good. celebrities they live in like you know fucking Calabasas, fucking Malibu, whatever places. Those places have zip codes. Mm. You put this fucking okay. So I did Kanye West one day, and I just fucking nine zero two one zero or whatever, whatever fucking zip code was out there. Yeah. Okay. And I got it, and I had his phone number. So okay. I was like, oh fuck, this is Kanye West's phone number. Jeff's dream. So I. I <laughs> no way. <laughs> and this this was Sorry. like this was like like I said three years ago. All outdated information. This did not happen. Um, so I texted Kanye, and I texted him. I was like, I don't know what to fucking text him. So I just as a joke, I said, the deal's off. And I put a dash and then a, like a capital H. Uh, that's pretty good. So Honestly, that, a really... So now it's, up to Kanye to, now it's up to Kanye to figure out who that was. <laughs> but I didn't get back, so I wasn't, I wasn't really like getting anywhere. That's nothing that bad. You know, anybody that found, you know, Kanye's number would have texted some wild shit to it, I think. That's nothing that serious. Yeah. I thought you stole yeah. a refrigerator from Best Buy or some sort of expensive No, no, device. never that. I just, you know, I really wanted to just come on here and tell you guys, because I know a lot of blue check marks. I know Tana and you, Jeff, you guys and everyone involved with this whole operation. You guys all go to Best Buy and stuff and all these places. And a lot I of do. your audience, you know, the, yeah, you go to these Best Buy places and you guys have audiences and they might be a little crazy. So I just want to let you all know you can use aliases on your Best Buy accounts. You can use aliases on all the AS accounts so no one can find you. Just remember the Honestly, alias. thank you, Good Samaritan. What are you saying? You guys when, you open up, when you open up one of those Best Buy accounts, you can just use an alias? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you just fucking, um, just fucking throw a name in there, you know? Just fucking throw a name, have a name, write it down yeah. and put it in your notes app on your iPhone, you know? You put your actual phone number in with a fake name, they're never going to find you. Damn. Just be safe, guys. Come on. Your Thank addresses you. are on there too, guys. Like, bro, real. we're wait, we're smart. making way too much money to be doing scams. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. No, we out, bro. <laughs> this is small-minded shit. I don't need to jack Best Buy, bro. That's not what he's saying, Cody. <laughs> what are you what saying? Two-thirds got what you were saying, okay? <laughs> Thank you for the intel, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I'm sure. Yeah, always watch it out for you guys. I love you. Thank you. Thanks for calling in, bro. That was that was dope. Um, <laughs> I got you guys. I got I, you. appreciate y'all. You are a perfect representation of the audience, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Have a good. We one. are really all the audience. Hey, shout out you guys. Hey, Have a good one. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> nice, Kyle. That was good. Good timing. I, I, I mean, he just called in and told everybody how to scam Best Buy. I don't know what his beef is with Best Buy, but <laughs> telling everybody to go scam their credit card policy or whatever he's doing. He's more so letting all Best Buy employees know how they could get like an up. I don't really think. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and let us know to not put our information into the Best Buy. I never put my information anywhere. <laughs> I've so, been doing this before this kid told me this. Yeah. You think my real name's Cody Padrino? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I really didn't think it was. Now yeah, that you yeah. say that. There you go. Yeah. Slay Cody or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. your name whatever is. you want to call El, me. El Padroni. El yeah. Padrino. That's Pablo Escobar. You know how that came about? How? 
was a fat scumbag on drugs, and uh, Jeff was cutting. No, my, you. Yeah, Jeff was cutting my hair one day. I was like, then, let's do a stupid mustache. You know, like what I always suggest yeah. to my friends when I, you know, they ask me for haircuts and I get bored, and I'm like, oh, I'll do it, but I want to do something fun for me. Uh -huh. So I gave him the Pablo mustache. Narcos was popular at the time. And we just ran with it. We were like, yo, you yeah. look like Pablo Escobar. Yeah. And we could throw a picture up where, you know, he really fucking did. He transformed since then. He got so Kyle and Oscar, like, we are just so tired. No, we'll add it in the edit. But, yeah. Oh, in the edit. <laughs> cool. Um, Man, if you listen to this shit, I'm sorry. I know you want an hour of your life back. And you wanted the. Uh, I, I it's not you. It's not y'all. It's me. I'm just not giving. Okay. No, you crushed today. I think this was the funniest you've been. I was. You cracked me up today, actually. Thank you. I was genuinely laughing at a lot of shit that you said. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with too many people, but I fuck with you. I love you. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. a good guy. Yeah. I don't care what they say. What, what can they say about me? <laughs> I didn't fucking hit my friend into an excavator and leave him for dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're the scumbags, Dude, not you're me. you're on fire, though, actually. Yeah, yeah. He carried this episode. I don't need to fucking and guinea pet. That, that'll guinea, be the biggest guinea bag. What is life. it? Guinea pig over Piggy, anybody for Piggy clout? Back. Yeah. I don't give guinea a fuck pig. about clout. I got money. <laughs> I don't need to give me back off anybody's pick. Man. Yeah, yeah. For any. Yeah. Did you just buy that In and Out shirt when you were over there? Yeah, I wanted it for the show. In and out of jail. <laughs> Yo. I noticed Steven that. could never. I noticed because I like. I know I got a, I got the notification on the credit card that it was for forty six dollars from In and Out. I was like, what the fuck? I, you thought you just got. Oh, you got it on two, Jeff's two, 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 three, Jeff's wallet? Two, three burgers. Bro, I'm on the show for free. I don't get paid for this shit, Kyle. Okay? You can't provide me a shirt for the show? I thought you make money. No, fuck no, Kyle. Yeah. I was just, because I'm looking yeah. at you, I was like, when the fuck did he get this in and out shirt? Yeah. California, too. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. We'll do whatever you want. Get as many in and out shirts as you want. Yeah. Thank you for coming back and, you know, waking me up at 7 a.m. to go for runs and... Uh, yeah, it's good to have you in town. Uh, you crushed it. I love it. Though, you you know. guys have a special bond, and it's beautiful. Yeah, that's right. That's We're happy true. that you're part of it. Thank you. Can we bomb later tonight? <laughs> that's okay. what I, I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> you got to get that stuff out of your bloodstream. You got to go rub one out. I'm and, celibate you know. and a virgin. Everything I say is a lie. Me too, baby. I'm ready uh -huh, to give it up to you. Honey. <laughs> It's been about eight months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four years. I'm doing that. I'm doing that impulsive Logan yeah. face. Like when he looks at the camera, you know, that's it. Whatever. What are we doing anymore? <laughs> you guys um, are not subscribed. We, fucking fucking good. we have to do something about it. Hit right, that guys. subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Jeff. F he used to be out on the corner. <laughs> 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 We're not going to be They're not all going to be home runs smacked out of the park. Sometimes. That's true. Drink up. Responsibly. Drink barbershop. Chalk your IDs. Hey, Frank, Frank, these people want you dead. <laughs>